Noisy diesel powered generators are familiar to soldiers at bases across Afghanistan, but they could eventually be a thing of the past. British and American forces are now conducting trials with a new generation of quiet and energy efficient solar generators. As Rob Olver reports, US Marines in Afghanistan expect to use the new technology from this summer. <laughs> Troops in Afghanistan rarely escape noisy diesel generators. Now US Marines are about to deploy a power system that sounds like this. The sound of silence comes courtesy of the Ground Renewable Expeditionary Energy Network System, or GREENS. As part of a test here in Helmand, it's powering a US Marine Command Operations Center. We have a panel set up here that's approximately pushing 1,000 watts into the battery once the sun goes down. We stop actually using the solar panels and the batteries that the solar panel has charged will continue to run the CLC for up to six to eight hours. The system's portable and takes minutes to set up. Fiber cables and four high energy lithium batteries offer maximum efficiency. The silent generator is less likely to attract an enemy and will reduce fuel convoys. But does it work? You know, getting something bigger and new is just, you know, you just like, oh, that's just something else I got to carry on to and account for. But it's actually, well, once I got it and I actually got to see how it's used and how it works, I'm a true believer. For nearly two months, only sunshine has powered the Marines, radios, phones, laptops and TVs, even the air conditioning. It's a pretty sturdy piece of gear. It's uh, survived a lot of wet and bad weather, such as uh, sandstorms. While it's been in the back of the tra uh, trailers, we've gone over a pretty, uh, I'd say, treacherous terrain, but very bumpy and it's... It's been thrown around quite a bit and uh, it's always come out with a few little uh, scratches on the actual case, but nothing actually wrong with the, uh, any of the gear at all. The U.S. Marines expect to use the solar units on operations this summer, but there is the question of a price tag. Now, if you've ever had reason to complain about the cost of putting a set of solar panels on your roof, think again. This little array here will set you back half a million dollars. But for a more wallet-friendly £5,000, British forces too are testing a solar generator. It can provide 100 watts for 10 hours and is intended for charging laptop, phone and other batteries. The, the welfare team hope in future to have this as one uh, modular cabin whereby you would have your internet access, your phone access, all in one place, being powered by either solar or by a diesel generator. Should there not be diesel available, then you've got the option of going to solar power. And the system is soon to be trialled at British patrol bases in Helmand. Rob Olver, Forces News, Camp Bastion.